Hey, what's up guys? Here recently we've been getting some exceptional sky photos out of the United Kingdom and I've got some more to share with you guys. Here recently, within the past week, we've seen what I'm calling the sky waves, these big white blankets that cover the sky and have a very sharp edge on the sides. We've seen those before, but they're kind of rare and we're starting to see them again, especially in the UK. Also over in the UK, we're seeing perfect circles in the sky. And and now I've got a perfect cube to share with you guys from the United Kingdom. Here's where the sky waves came from and the perfect circle in the area of London. And then I've got two more from Central and then North Central where the sky cube came from. Mansfield and in the area of Cheltenham. So I'm going to get to those here in just a minute. But before we continue, make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel. Click on the red subscribe button and make sure you click on the, the bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos. So make sure you do that guys click on the subscribe button and the bell so you get notifications now back to the pictures we're going to start off up by Mansfield where a young lady by the name of Jen noticed something way off in the distance actually several miles away from her location and she took a video of it she had the presence of mind to know she was looking at something very special when she zoomed in she couldn't believe what she was looking at a perfect or near perfect cube in the sky and from from her vantage point, like I said, she was a pretty good ways away, at least several miles. This thing still looked rather large. So here's the video that Jen sent in from Mansfield. She has some narration in here. She looks at it once she zooms in and she's like, oh my, that's a cube. Here, I'll let you listen to her narration. Look at that thing. It is massive. And she's several miles away. Perfect cube. She just said it's a perfect cube. Look at that thing. And that's not one dimensional. That appears to be three dimensional. Just incredible. I've received pictures in the past of squares in the sky. I put in here it looks pretty large because from her distance away from this thing, which is several miles, it still looks quite large. So here it is enhanced. I've done some work with the light, the color, to try to get a different look at this object that looks like a giant cube. And here it is in a um, inverted light format. It just basically turns the light into a blue color. I was just basically looking for more detail to confirm that this was indeed three-dimensional and it does look like it is. Just an incredible observation by Jen from Mansfield, United Kingdom. And if you look at the center, let me pause it here real quick. It almost looks like there's an opening right there in the center. And I can't confirm it because it's too far away. But at times, it does look like maybe something is entering or exiting the center of that very large cube that's in the sky. Again, it's, it's difficult to tell. There's some colorful clouds right there to the right. Um, I don't know what these big eye looking things are up in the sky. Here's another close up view um, where I've enhanced the color a little bit more. And you can see kind of a darker color in the center that to me almost looks like it opens and closes. Maybe it stays open, I don't know, but it did look like things were moving in and out of it. These things here look like giant eyes in the sky above this what looks like a nearly perfect cube at least a square. I've received squares in the past. In fact, I found one that I received here back about a year ago. And you can see a perfect square right there. It doesn't look three-dimensional, but there is a, what's well, almost a rectangle shape. But either way, it's got perfect angles on all four corners. Call it a rectangle, call it a square. That is definitely not a natural feature up in the sky. And that was sent in by uh, Casey. I've had that one for probably about a year. We don't see these things very often. They're kind of rare. And to see something like this that's shaped like a, a cube in the sky, just kind of hanging around up there, is exceptionally rare. And this thing here looks to be pretty good size. Here is an x-ray format. And you can see where the cube looks dark right there. 
It's got some sharper edges here on the corners. You can see a, a darker color of black. That tells us it's reflecting light a little bit on the corners. Here's these big eye looking features up in the sky. Don't know how those came to be. Um, don't know how this square came to be either, but that was a great observation by this young lady from Mansfield, United Kingdom. Noticed a giant cube in the sky above the Uni United Kingdom just a few days ago. So thank you, Jen. That was from right here in this location. And I actually posted a picture in the location of Mansfield right here on Google Earth. Now we're going down to this location just west and slightly north of London, more in the central United Kingdom, Cheltenham. And here we go. Looks like a couple of, I don't know, <laughs> what, what, what do you call those? Rockets going up in the air? They appear to be obviously at the same height as one another. They're leaving some sort of a wide trail behind them. That is definitely not an airplane. Those are two separate objects whatever they are um, that's how i received the picture obviously i've enhanced these that i'm showing you in a in a different format just trying to see if i could possibly pull forward a object or two up here at the tip of those uh very wide uh, what appear to be fast moving trails and i couldn't um, looks like it was taken early in the morning or late in the evening I don't know any other details other than that, um, but that was sent in by Laura and Charles from Cheltenham, which is right in this area here, and that's where the objects were um, observed from. So they were probably seen by more than uh, one person, again, right in that area there. So great observation, guys. Keep them coming. You are wide awake and on the ball. I've got some new sky phenomena photos I'd like to share with you guys here real quick. Put together a small slideshow, and I'm working on many, many more. Catherine from Colorado. These are some of the most colorful clouds I think I've ever seen in the proximity of the sun. And these are, if they're polar stratospheric clouds, they are way out of bounds in Colorado. They might be nacreous clouds, but uh, polar stratosphere clouds don't normally get outside of the Arctic Circle too far. And that's kind of what they look like. Cat from Maui, Hawaii. Another fiery orange sky. Kelly B from right out here in Gilbert, Arizona. Bright pink sky. Ricky B from Melbourne, Australia. Sun coming up over the horizon. Melbourne, uh, Australia again. Ricky B, fiery orange sky from down under. The Colony, Texas. Stephanie noticed the moon once again in one of those triangle formations in the sky. Or at least it looks like it's close to a triangle formation. Been seeing that a lot lately in the, in the past few weeks. Chris and Christine from Scottsdale, Arizona noticed a spectacular sunset from right out here in Arizona about as red as you can get. Stacy S. from Louisiana. Big jumbo halo around the sun. Eye in the Sky by Jay Blouser. Look at that. Perfect eye shape in the sky. You don't see that very often. And they had the presence of mind to take a, a photo of it. Lena from right out here in North Phoenix. Some unusual vertical looking clouds. Now here's another angle in the sky that it just doesn't look natural with the rest of the, the cloud flow. And then you've got this right here. It looks like a triangle just sitting there all by itself. And it makes no sense, you know, why is everything else random? And then you've got that angle right there. Good observation by Patty from Tri-Cities, Washington. Another photo from the United Kingdom, Wales, Susan H. What looked like gravity waves or cornrows up in the sky, roll clouds. Here's some more roll clouds, but these are flatter. Hudson, Michigan, sent in by Joey. Those are more spread out. St. Petersburg, Florida, Joan W. Noticed this spectacular cloud off to the, I don't know if that's the west or the east, as the sun is either rising or setting. And then opposite of the, the sun, you can see these big rays coming up from the east or west horizon. So those would be anti-crepuscular rays as they span all the way across the sky over to the sun. I've seen that phenomenon myself. You guys are familiar with this symbol here? This is the pi symbol. What you're about to see is this symbol 
in the sky right there upside down photo taken by Victor out of Austria that is the pi symbol or at least a version of the pi symbol that's the only thing I could think of that it looked like and there's the pi symbol in the clouds upside down just an incredible observation by Victor out of Austria so good job guys keep the photos coming if you have photos you'd like to share you can send those to reports at mr mbb 333.com all of the photos end up here at the sky phenomena photo gallery sometimes i use the photos in a picture slideshow just like you saw right here thanks for watching have a super day and be safe out there